Are you ready to have fun with games and save money at the same time? Come on, let's get started. Hi everybody and happy, happy wow, Saturday. Saturday evening. Wow, what a day. I have a story at the end of this video. Let me tell you something. Poor Mary Love. I literally probably set her ears on fire today. I was on the phone with her when something not so nice happened to me and I totally lost it and she had to hear the whole thing. If that sounds like something you want to get like know about, wait till the end of the video. Oh my gosh. All right. I am actually wearing my Donald Duck uh, spirit jersey that I made. All right. We're just going to get into it because today's a fun day and I need fun. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. 62, 64, 66, 68. They stick together. 70, 72, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. $190. Wow, that was a lot of bills. All right. If you are new to my channel, I save money every day, to hopefully to inspire you to save money. And I write down how much I save. So today is, oh, may the fourth be with you. Uh, last year I did a, a, a Star Wars savings challenge. I did not get a chance to do that today. All right, we have 190 going in, and I did not spend money. I did have my stickers out. Ah, there they are. Oh, wait, I did spend money. You know what I bought? <laughs> I did spend money. I had to go on Amazon.com. Um, we have it in Vinny's bathroom, but I wanted it in my bathroom. It's the Conair blow dryer that's always attached to the wall. It's like the ones that are in the hotels. I, I can't stand going into a cabinet, taking the blow dryer out and having to put it away because I want nothing on the counters. And I was just, I was done. I, I just wanted it to be on the wall, look nice and neat, take it off, blow dry my hair a little, and then I'm good to go. So I did buy it today. I think it was $34.99 on Amazon. So I'm good. I, I did spend money, but... It was for a good cause. Today's games, and I'm just going to come back into the notebook where the games are. I'm putting a different spin on games today. Putting a different spin. <gasps> Ooh, my challenge point is right here. New York Rangers play their first game of the second series tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Don't forget, tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo. I'm thinking, you know... Mexican type food and margaritas tomorrow for the game, like some nachos and I don't know, maybe fun food. I did buy wings. I think I'm going to make buffalo wings. I don't know where that all came from. It just came out of me. Okay, let's get into Christmas first because I did add too many houses. You guys were right. You guys are awesome. I added too many houses, so this is actually going to save me more money than I thought it would. We're still going to add, we're going to add $20, but I'm going to keep them all at $4. So that's four, eight, um, 12, Ooh, 12. Grab red, 16, and one more is 20. All right, 20 it is. $20 is going into Christmas. Super, so, super, super excited 
uh, this, I know I say it, but it really truly is amazing how once I get this done, everything else I say for is sinking funds. This is then done. This is the biggest one, I think. 10, 20, 30, 40. The rest would be like, I don't know. It's in my brain how I'd like to, to phrase it, but it's not coming out. Like once this is done, everything else is going to be so much fun because this is a priority. So for me, having this done is work. I'm thinking when these, this book is done, life gets more fun. You know what I mean? I hope that makes sense. I feel like this is a job right now. It's a job and it's okay. That's done. We are adding, ooh, we're finishing an envelope today. We're adding $50. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. We're adding 50 into the 100 envelope challenge today. And it's that envelope right here. This one is going to be completed. So inside this envelope, after we add this money, should be $450. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 10 and grab a 10. 10, 20, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 450 dollars. Oh, this envelope is now complete. Everything that's binder clipped is already done. And let me tell you something, this binder clip does not want us to hold it. We move on to this envelope tomorrow. We have three envelopes left. And let me tell you something. Last month, April, we sank some money from those challenges into this. So this became a long term. So what's really great is this. Um, I'm trying to think. See? Uh, figure this out for me, girls. Figure this out for me. You know what? We'll talk about it. Why am I having such a hard time getting my words out? You know how I track my monies? And then at the end of the month, I figure out what's been saved. But then I dump it into the 100 envelope challenge. So I'm rolling it. So my smaller challenges are building up my bigger challenge. Don't usually do that. But I have to tell you, that is a great way to get the 100 envelope challenge completed. It really is. All right, tomorrow is another day for this one. Part of me says, leave it alone for a couple of days. I'm like, do I or do I keep going? Do I keep going? Tomorrow is the hop. Don't forget, this calendar is linked down below in that description box, along with all of the envelopes. So tomorrow is uh, the hop. And we're heading over to Mary Love Country Living. And then on Tuesday, the Traveling and Savings Chief, Simply Living Saves is on the 9th. So don't forget, grab this, print it, and join us. I grabbed the wrong binder. Write that out. We're not working on that today. All right, let's get into Roger. We just have a couple in here that are our dailies. Today's day four. Are you saving a dollar with me? The other day, why is my, my, why do I keep blurring? It is a weird day. Okay. Who's saving a dollar a day with me? I challenged everyone the other day to save a dollar with me during the month of May. This is also free in that description box below. So go over and get it. And let's save some money together. I think I'm grabbing blue today. I feel like a blue flower. I guess I'm in blue mode, right? I have Donald Duck on today. We are adding a dollar. So that means there is 
four dollars inside of here. One, two, three, four. If you are still saving with me, or if you're new to saving the dollar with me, let me know in that comment section. We're still on this. Can I tell you, my attention deficit is killing me on this one. I, only because if you didn't know this, I already did this once this year, and I had to pull the monies from this. And it's pure torture that I'm doing this again. I, I, it really is. 10, 20, 30, um, 31, 32, 33, 335 dollars. It is. It's it's actually killing me. I'm now going to zoom you in because we're now on Roger Rabbit. Ready? Ta-da! Roger Rabbit. We are supposed to bring $10 to the table. Make sure nothing else is getting money, right? Nothing else is getting money. Um... We're just going to do everything that has fives. That's what we're just going to do. So that's what we're working on. So this gets, I'm just going to put a little one there and a little one there. So I'm giving this $10 today. We're just going to go through the board and anything that's got a five, we're going to just erase. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 52, 54, 56, 57, 58, 59. $595. Isn't that cool? $595. Yes. Is that my new favorite word? Cool. What am I, 12 again? Ugh. I'm telling you, my day got vile today. It was, it was horrible at one point. I think it's still affecting me. All right, games it is. Huh. We are playing games. Come on, let's get into it. I thought that I was going to bring this into play. I really did, but I don't think so because of the way that I'm going to be working my games. All right. I feel like I moved my camera just a little. Let's bring in our cash tray and let's go into how I would like to do this. All right. Well, first off, we're going to play Keep Mickey in the Box. Yep. And I think we'll use uh, blue today. And what are we going to do? We're going to roll two dice. And we got five and two is seven. So I'm going to mark seven. Now I play the pub way. I can do three numbers. I'm going to do eight on that because I got a five and a three. Oh, you can't see my castle. Got four. We got 10. Um, I'm going to do 9 and 1. I'm going to do 9 and 1. Oh, please don't let that be bad. We got 5 and 1 is 6. Come on. Come on. 3 and 1 is 4. We can't do that. So we owe this $10. I'm just going to mark 10. And keep Mickey in the box gets his first ten. I like to play him twice, um, twice every Saturday. And if I get a low enough number, I like to do it a third time, so that I know that this is finished at the end of the month. Okay, we got ten. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do seven and three. I don't know why. I don't know why I chose that. And we got six and three is nine. I'm just going to take the nine. We got six and three and nine again. So I'm going to do eight and one. All right, come on. We got four and one is five. I'm going to take the five. And come on, we got six, four, and two. Oh, that's 12. We got, we got double sixes. All right, we got four and one is five. Nope, can't do it. So we have to give this $12. Okay, 
10 and 2 is 12. So inside of Mickey in the box, keep Mickey in the mop box is 10, 22, $22 to start this month off. I got to write down that, that number, uh, 10, 12, got to write down 12. That was 10 and this is 12. Okay. We're good. All right. Now we're moving on to the card game, which I changed up. I changed that up. Um, Last week, we're going to roll the dice to see which card we take. And it says card number two. And then card number four. And then card number one. All right. What do we got? Seven, three, and ten. That's $20. <laughs> And we're done with this one. So we got the Ten of Spades, the Seven of Spades, and the Three of Spades. I divided, the, oh, this gives you such a glare. Isn't that wild? Look, but how cool are they? Look how great they shimmer. All right. So by me breaking down the suits, it just gives me, it feels, it feels like it's not like, I don't know. See how I got three different. I feel like it'll be finished faster. I don't know if that makes sense or if it will, but I don't know. I'm kind of feeling that. I'm just always afraid of getting three tens or three high cards at one time. It just scares me. All right. So these are next week. In fact, there's three. We already know what we're pulling next week. That's okay. That's so okay. All right, so this is done. And now we're going to move on to Monopoly. We're not going to need this anymore because this is how I'm going to play it. <clears throat> I'm going to start on go. And I am just going to get ink on my hands. I am just going to just start coloring in the boxes. And I want to do every box. And then I'll bring it back on a new sheet, right? I'm going to roll the big die, and we got a six. Okay, we got six. So if we move one, two, three, four, five, six, we have to give it eight. All right, and I'm going to color that in. Okay, we've got eight, five, seven, and eight. All right, let's put, I never put the money in here, did I? Did I put the money? I have to tell you, there's so much talking in my house. I don't know if you can hear it, but what did I do? I never took, put money in here, did I? This is killing me, you know that. Oh boy. Okay, so I, I didn't. I did not. 5, 10, 15, 20. $20 goes into here, and we now have 10, 11, 12, 13, 135, 36, 37, 38, 39, 139. Part of me says just double check it, Donna. 11, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10, and 10, 10, 10, and 6, 11, 8, and eight this is one twenty nine ten eleven twelve thirteen five six seven eight nine did I miss something this is this is like pure torture pure torture two three four don't have a four two three six seven eight nine ten ten and ten we got 10, 10, and 6, 11, 8, and 8. So I have 129 in here. 129. All right, 10, 11, 12, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. All right, at the end, oh, and I got a joker. That's why there's 10. 
Okay. We're good. Everything is perfect. We are so good. All right. Putting money into Monopoly. We landed on the eight. And now we're going to add the eight dollars. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then where did the one go? Got a one out here. Okay. Oh, five, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Nine dollars. We're on track right now. I am not gonna I'm not gonna derail. Not derailing. Nope. Yikes. Turtles. We're up to turtles. We gotta finish you guys. Yep, we gotta finish them. Not finish them today. You know what I mean? We gotta work on them. Let's grab our fun dice out. We have turtle dice. And I'm gonna roll two turtles. Ooh, we got five. Five's done. This is our last five. Oh, that's three, Donna Marie. Ugh. Three and two. That is funny. Okay, let's do two. And let's grab orange for three. So that means we got Michelangelo and Leonardo. Okay, these two are done. We're adding five. And maybe we come back to this. Maybe. We have 20, 40, 65, 66. 66 dollars saved. I just want to see what we get in. Okay, this is what I want to show you. I'm going to do the same thing I'm doing, but with what I'm doing, Monopoly I'm doing with this one too. All right. I don't want to color blue again. I think I want to use yellow. Let's be happy. Um, Toy Story. Let's use the six sizes. We're going to start with one and we're going to color this in. So one is done. One and done. We got four. One, two, three, four. And we're going to put this back and grab a five and we're going to color that one in. Go again. It got three. One, two, three, and the planet for planet pizza is gonna get four. And we'll grab two of those. So we're gonna add nine dollars into Toy Story. I don't know what these are gonna bring us, but I thought it'd be a fun way to just change it up. Change it up. Let's do the whole sheet. Same thing with Queen of Hearts, but what I wanna do with her is I want to do her twice. I want to I want to do it twice. So this is what I'm thinking. We need the six sided die and we got five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline it once and grab a five. I'll roll again and I got two. And then we'll do one more. What do we get? Three. So once they're outlined, if I get the number again, I am going to color it in. Kind of the same thing I did with Tinkerbell. This pen is no more. And we have to add three. Two and three. So we have we have five and five is ten. And we have ten dollars going into Queen of Hearts. Just spicing it up a little. In the mood to spice up the games. All right, Scooby Doo. This one scares me because there's some big numbers on this one. And let's let's roll. We gotta roll two dice for this, and we'll use the Scooby dice. The we'll use this one and the red one. So we're gonna go to four and four. Four and four is Shaggy. Okay, we're going to do Shaggy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to outline them. That means I got Shaggy. Shaggy! Let's do it again. We got two and Velma is five. Two and five. We got Daphne and she gets one. And we're just going to take orange and we're going to outline her. It's just easier if I go like that. Okay, let's do it one more time. 
And we got four and Shaggy is three. And that gives us four. That's the monster. And that's four. I said four, right? Okay. So inside of Scooby-Doo, we have $7 going in. And I think we have a game in play after this. So let's look. Let's look. No, do we? No, we're not working on these. So Scooby is the last one. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to paper clip him so that I remember. We have some money left. So let's go to, we'll go backwards. Kind of, we did that the other day, right? We did that. So let's see, we were at the planet. And we move four. One, two, three, four. We got ten. <laughs> to infinity or bust. All right. Ten dollars it is. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Ten dollars it is. That was funny. It got me. It got me. We got two, four, six, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 dollars with Toy Story. Wow. All right. Let's go to Queen of Hearts because she's not going to take as much money. Actually, you know what? Let's do one of these. Let's do one. Where's our Ninja Turtle guy? Oh, we'll do one. And what do we get? Number four. We can do a four. Do we have that? Let me grab the red. A new red. Honestly, I don't have a red over there. Such a crazy day. I'm telling you, my whole aura needs to be cleansed. One, two, three, and four goes into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 20, 40, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Please tell me I added the money into this before. Let's go to Queen of Hearts. I need something easy peasy. Queen of Hearts, please. All right. We'll use the red die. We got two. Got two again. Okay. Two it is. Two it is. One and two. We'll do it one more time. One more time. And we got two again. This is what I'm going to do. I, I just thought of it. But until they're all outlined and colored if i roll that number i have to add it right so i'm going to add two i'm not going to color it in again but this way i know i keep going right i'm challenging myself and we got three and three dollars here right and this last dollar we're going to save over here that so works so three just got colored in but that's what i'm going to keep doing I'm going to outline and then I'm going to color and I'm going to color until I actually roll the, the exact number. Yep. Just make it fun. Spice it up. Let's see how much money. It's a game, right? It's a game. I am going to do it that way. Okay, let's put the monies away. Let's put the book away. I just got to put everything away. I need just a little bit of organization. These guys can stay out. These guys can get put away. And we'll have just a few minute story time. I think that looks good there. I wish I was her right now because I'd be casting a spell. All right. So, I don't know, two weeks ago, two weeks ago, I had to go to Home Depot to buy lumber, right, for the bedroom closet. While I was there, and I had the 
12 months, 0% financing for a certain amount of money. Like you spend a certain amount, I think it's like 250 or 199 and you get 12 months, 0% financing. Okay. I like that because it works for me. So I knew that I wanted to replace my kitchen island. My kitchen island was actually a Martha Stewart island that I purchased in Kmart. Kmart no longer exists. I purchased it 17 years ago. 17. I painted it. I put paneling on it. I re DIY'd it so many times. I was done with it, if you know what I mean. So, since I've been adding new kitchen cabinets to my kitchen, I wanted two new base cabinets and I'll put the countertop on it. So, I wanted cabinet door. And a set of drawers. Right? So when John and I went to Home Depot last week, <clears throat> we had to take the big cabinet off the shelf. So they come in with that piece of equipment, they lift it up, and I said to the man, very nice older gentleman, I said, please make sure that it's the one with the drawer, not the base cabinet for a sink. I said, I want the drawer and I want the shelf on it. Ma'am, I guarantee you this is the right one. <clears throat> Are you sure? Yes. John went to Rhinebeck today, which is a car show a couple hours away. So when John's not around, I kind of get a lot accomplished. TJ, it, this is story time. TJ calls me this morning and I had asked him yesterday, could he take some of the big stuff out of the upstairs to bring to his warehouse to sell? So he called this morning and says, you ready to do this? I said, sure. So my king size mattress, the two twin size box springs. I had a um, telescope. I had the behind the toilet cabinet. He took everything. He made two trips with his pickup truck. And uh, he took the old island out of the kitchen. So once he took the old island, I was starting to put together the two new pieces I got. <laughs> I, the box, or I take the, the cardboard off of it, it's the base cabinet for a sink. It's not the cabinet with the drawer and the, count, the, ca the shelf in it. So I was just like, oh my gosh. So Vinny had already went to town. TJ had left. And I, I messaged TJ. I was like, when you're done, can you just come back to my house? I need you to help me lift something. And I said, if Vinny gets home before you get here, I'll call you off. He got here first. He and I carried the new cabinet to the pickup truck. We put it in the back of the pickup truck, and I left with the pickup truck. My, we put it in my pickup truck. I get to Home Depot. I cross my heart. I'm on the phone with Mary Love. We're talking. We're chatting. I get to Home Depot. I've never seen our Home Depot this crowded. There was, there was hardly any spots. Now, there's, there's, when you pull into Home Depot, let's just say this is Home Depot, right? So I, I pull in this way, and there are no spots anywhere. But there's those spots for if you're just running in to pick something up, right? There's four spots, four spots sitting there. They're all empty. And I'm thinking, I can't take this cabinet out of the back of the truck by myself. So I'm going to have to go in there, get one of the employees to come back out, get it with me, get the new one out down for me, and help me put the new one in the truck. Right. So I pull in to those spots. Right. I'm running in. Right. But we have a pickup truck that's got the four full size doors on it with an eight foot bed. So it's longer than an average parking spot. So if this was a parking spot and this was a parking spot, I should have just parked in this one and pulled in, right? So the front of my truck is here and my tailgate's here. And then this would have been the, the, you know, 
the, the line for the next set of cards, right? But instead, I pull straight through, right? Thinking so I don't have to back out. I'm on the phone talking to Mary Love. And we're, we're talking. And we're in the middle of a nice, a, a, a serious conversation. I look out my rear view mirror and I see a car. Now, just say this is the parking spot right here, right? Because I have that big exercise pickup truck, part of my truck is in this spot. Part of my truck is in here. So basically I'm taking up two spots. I am. I'm on the phone with Mary. And I have to talk to her again because I haven't spoken to her since then. I'm surprised she's still going to be my friend. Breathe, Donna, breathe. I'm sitting on the phone and I see a car pull in here. This car pulls in and it's one of these compact little cars. Oh my God, I'm going to get so upset. He pulls in. And his rear bumper, he backed in. Let me, let me just tell you, he backed in. He backed in, and he put his rear bumper with a hair, enough room for hair to go between his bumper and my bumper. Now, I've got to open my tailgate. I've got to take this cabinet out. And this mofo, and oh, I, I got out of the truck, and I said, excuse me, I said, Mary, please tell me. I, I don't think I was rude. I really don't think I was rude. I'm like, I can't get my lift gate down. I said, I got to return this. This little. Oh, I'm going to. I'll, 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 this guy, young man between the age of 20 and 25. I said to him, I can't get the lift gate down. I have to, I have to make a return. Turns around, he goes. I, I do believe he used choice words. Yeah, he used, I, I think he began with the curse words first. He says, that I, that's my F. He goes, you're in my F and spot. Because I took up two spots. And I said to him, I have, uh, uh, Mary, please help me. Uh, uh, because I'm like, I, I got to get this out of the back of my truck. And whatever words we used. And he dropped the bomb. I dropped the bomb and here I, I'm like, I was like, do you see my age? You're half my age. You're going to make me go park the car somewhere else so that I have to go get somebody. He turns around to me. He goes, uh, there's a pull-up spot over here to drop things off. I go, no, that's been closed and returns is at this door. I said, what, what do you expect me to do? And that little runt and I had words to the point where I got my truck and I drove across the parking lot, but I had poor Mary on the phone and my mouth. I, I, I dropped every curse word at poor Mary. Mary doesn't even use the word H-E double hockey sticks. And I, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed of the words that came out of my mouth. And I said to her, I'm so sorry, Mary, please forgive me. I was caught in that moment. And then I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I was shaking, shaking. I wanted to take this kid and teach him manners where he should have said, you know what, ma'am, let me help you get that out of the car or nothing, nothing. Um, so I pull all the way over here and now I'm like, how am I going to get that? And I got one of the flat wagons. So I see a young couple walking over here and I said to them, Hey, excuse me, can I, I ask you to help me out for a second. And they're walking over at me and I looked at them. I go, I know you. They're like, yeah, they last summer, they came to TJ's garage sale a couple of times while I worked TJ's. So we literally hung out for hours at TJ's. He's got an Etsy shop. He, he unbelievable young man, right? So he actually took the cabinet out of the truck with me. And we walked into Home Depot together and I kept saying, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I walked through the door of Home Depot and this little POS, this, this POS right here, he didn't buy anything. He did not pick up anything. He probably shouldn't have been taking that spot either. 
But he, I, I looked at him, and he looked at me, and he was about to say something. And before he can open his mouth, I said to him, have a nice day. And he's like, you too. And I'm like, I wanted to turn on my heels. And every ounce of me was literally shaking with venom. I know exactly what kind of car he had. I know what he looks like. I, 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 I said to my sister, I'm waiting to run into him because I'll be like, you know, your mother could have done better with your manners. And then I, 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 I hope to God my kids, I hope to God my kids never do that to a person, ever. I, I, I teach my kids when they see a veteran and they're wearing the hats or they're wearing some, thank them. Thank them for their service. Hold the door for people. Oh, I, I'm just, so that set my day off. Set my day off. I literally, I, I sent Mary a text and I asked her for, please forgive me. Please forgive me. But wait, wait, let me, let me, I'll read you the text because she's probably giggling. So I got home and I send her a picture of, I send her a picture of the cabinet. I sent back home. Just as the rain started, I am sorry from my mouth today, XOXO. And she says, you didn't kill anyone, did you? <laughs> so I was just like, I'm so sorry. But I could just imagine what was going through her brain. Because let me tell you something. The words that came out of my mouth, my grandmother would have washed my mouth out with soap. I was... I was swearing worse than a sailor. And it really did set the rest of my day off. And I, I can't get the, like, I can see the whole incident in my brain, but the words, I knew there was an alter, I, 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 I couldn't, I can't, I can't, I can't give you verbatim on what was said. I just know that, I gotta let it go. I gotta let it go. See this? See this? I gotta go like this. I gotta. I gotta attach this to my head. I gotta. I got to. I really. I should be like rubbing this all over my body. Please take away the bad energy, please, 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 please. I did get the cabinet in. I did stain it. I waited a couple hours and I put the pots and pans in it. It looks fabulous. It looks so much better than the old dingy one. So I'm truly, truly happy about that. I'm like, so that was a positive. But the whole fact that it, the Home Depot thing just, I don't know, let it go. 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 <laughs> I know, don't look at my gray hairs. I probably got a hundred of them today. All right, everybody. If you're still with me, Hashtag Donald Duck. I don't know. That will probably make me happy and giggle tomorrow morning. Hashtag Donald Duck. The word Donald Duck. Um, I know. We all have bad days. We all have moments within our days. I have to learn to let things go. I, I'm an empath. I truly am an empath. And I picked up on his energy real quick. I really did. He spiraled me. I hate when people get me. Hate it. But I'm going to run into him one day. I'm going to give him a little schooling. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, maybe I won't. All right. Love yous. I hope that you have a great night. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you for letting me vent. Tomorrow, I will be back here. Now, we're going to talk about this. Ranger game starts at 4. I was going to cook dinner tomorrow. Fun food. Finger foods. Cinco de Mayo. Um, I should be here at seven tomorrow night live. You will see my video probably earlier than normal, but if I'm late tomorrow night, it's because of that ranger game. But if you hit that notification bell, the moment I go live, it will give you a notification. So even if I'm running a few minutes late, there's a reason. All right. 
Thank you again. Love yous. Have a great night. See you in the next one. Bye.